you know, maybe you're trying to keep your mind occupied or, you know, maybe you're trying to just distract yourself. What, what kind of ways have you been? Yo Gotti's ops have been having a field day on social media after his brother was shot and killed in Memphis. But everyone has been waiting for presumably his biggest op, Key Glock, to say something about the whole incident. When his cousin, Young Dolph, died, Key Glock was devastated and it took him a while to open up. Will he finally address the elephant in the room? Let's find out. Big Juk shot and killed. A rapper whose star was on the rise and the music industry has been killed. Although Young Dolph's passing affected many of his friends, family and fans, one man seemed most affected. This was none other than his cousin and fellow rapper, Key Glock. Following Young Dolph's death, Key Glock went ahead to delete all his social accounts on Instagram and Twitter. However, he made a comeback a few weeks later where he posted on his story telling people to stop trying to reach him. Stop asking me if I'm okay, knowing damn well I ain't, the post read. In an interview, he was asked how he dealt with the loss of his cousin, and he revealed that he still felt the hurt and that nothing could ever make it go away. Distract yourself. What, what kind of ways have you been? Key Glock, born Markevius Lashun Cathy, is Dolph's cousin by marriage. Dolph signed his protege to his Paper Root Empire label in 2017 and released the collaborative album Dumb and Dumber with him in 2019 and the follow-up Dumb and Dumber 2 in 2021. A few days later, he gathered the courage to pin down an emotional tribute to young Dolph. Damn, bro, I'm lost. My heart is torn. My brain is about to explode. It hurts when I breathe. Why you leave me so soon? I'll never be the same. You was my left-hand man, my brother, my cousin, my mentor, and drank partner. However, one part of his emotional tribute stood out and had people thinking that sooner or later, someone was bound to pay for the hurt that he was feeling. There's nothing no one can do or say to bring you back and that shit just eats me up by the second. Nigga, you was Phil Jackson and I was yo MJ. Remember I told you I got you back no matter what? I guarantee that. 